Hi everybody, it's Robbie from Southern California and Gary. And today you're gonna to see what a baby dragonfly looks like. He just brought it up. So let's go look and see. So Gary brought me something and see, look at this. Oh my goodness. So these, ew. so they breathe air. And what these are, are dragonflies. These, so when will they turn into dragonflies? This year? Yeah, this year they'll, they'll be maybe a couple of months away from um, turning into dragonflies. Oh um, my God, <laughs> really awful looking. Let me see if I can get really a good close up. Oh my gosh. And so your kit, you made this trap to see how many are, there are. You're, well, this, are you tagging them? <laughs> Oh no. no he's fine. Oh, you dropped him. He's running away. Yeah, you, so you're going to put him in. Well, you better figure out where you're going to put him. They probably don't want to dry out. So, this is a trap you designed. Yeah, my fish trap. I used Look this. Look at this. He made a design. Okay, I haven't seen this. All just right. A, two soda bottles cut down. And it's just a simple drum trap. And it's got a funnel where they go in either side. Okay, so. If they, you're gonna draw. Okay, so there's two of these, and they push in the center. Are they? Is, oh, this is two, two together also. Two together. Cut just a soda bottle. Two. So soda it's two bottles. soda bottles, two large soda bottles. Yep. And, and then once they go inside, I see you got rocks to hold the weight down so it doesn't float around. They can't get out. They, they just sit on out. the bottom. Yeah, they swim around, and I just have this sitting in the. But pot. if they breathe air and that's underwater, are they gonna suffocate? Well, if there's this. I, have this just below the water line. Oh, I see. So there is an air space. So there's water and so air. So fish can gulp, come up and gulp air. And you catch fish in there too? Well, I mainly catch fish. This is mainly for fish, but I catch the dragonflies as well, the dragonfly nymphs. Oh, so this is for catching fish to move around to different ponds. Yes, yeah, so if I set up a new pond, I trap fish from one pond and move it to another. Okay, where do you want, so they're big enough, they won't get eaten by the, but you could put them in the bathtub. Should we go over, you want to put those yeah, two in the bathtub? All right, let's, bathtub. I'll walk over there. So now he's going to set his baby dragonflies free again. So you still have them, you have more in your pond, right? Yeah, I've got plenty of them in my pond. I'm sure there's some in here, but I may as well just release them back in. They don't want to go anywhere. They're probably not sure. And one left. And there they go. And off they go. There's a lot of fish in here too. I saw them yep. swimming around yesterday. So that's what a baby dragonfly looks like. And now they may come back and lay eggs here since they will yeah, crawl out. Now, what do, what do they have right now to crawl out on and turn? They're like a butterfly. They crawl out. Yeah, they can climb up the rocks. Okay, so they climb up on the rocks. You have more stuff hidden in your ponds, more plants hidden. You have them where they crawl yeah, up the, the sweet, plants. The sweet potatoes, by the time the sweet potatoes start growing over the ponds, that's when they start to emerge. So early summer, I'm going to say, they'll start emerging. Yeah, there's plenty of it, plenty of things that uh, they don't like slick things, so they won't climb up the sides of the bathtub, but they can climb up on these rocks. And even the wire probably and, and stuff. Wire. I actually see something growing in the water back there, a plant. I didn't even notice that before. It's in the water, one of your flowers. Oh, kind of. That's must, good. It That's... must have dropped a seed. And it, they'll, they can grow in the water like that? Yeah. That's perfect. They can crawl up that. I can crawl up that. So we could actually, if we wanted to, stick a couple more. Well, that's sticks. I've got six. But you could stick more sticks in there for them to come out on. Yeah. Okay. So there you go. Now you know what a baby dragonfly looks like. So with that, have a wonderful day. And don't forget to eat what you grow. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye. Oh, that's cool. Soon we'll have some more here, too. So Gary let those two dragonflies loose in the bathtub for me to find today that there were two skeletons left, which means when no one was around, they crawled out of the bathtub onto the wall, they unzipped their backs and they took off. And now they're flying around the garden somewhere. Isn't that cool? I thought they were alive until I realized they were empty inside those shells.